Hello guys, it is SublethalDroid3 here, and today I am bringing you a brand new series. I'm gonna, this is the second time of trying to film this, um, and I'm gonna do it differently. I've decided, well, it, this is Scout Squads, obviously, you can tell by the title, um, and you can tell by the thumbnail that I have gone different. I've gone to the Scottish League, and I've gone with Motherwell to do this career mode on. I thought I would try something different. They've only got one league. Um, I could have went. I was gonna go uh, Germany originally uh, with Vida Bremen second team, um, <clears throat> but the uh, when I when I recorded that, the audio wasn't working on the first episode and the actual visual things weren't working either. So I've decided I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart with Motherwell right from the beginning. I'm going to make Motherwell a Scottish Premier League winning team as they are only a one star rating, which you know isn't great for Motherwell, but it means they can turn a few heads when playing. Um, we've got the Vida, talking about the Vida Bremen second team, we have got them in um, our um, a tournament thing. Which I'm not going to be playing any time. Uh, I have got I've gone to get a scout feature star for the third time. I've tried doing this three times now, I think. But for the third time, I've got a scout feature star. Um, now we're going to check the visions and expectations. So youth development is low, which means you know we we'll probably complete it every time, hopefully. Um, so the youth development they want us to sign one player. To the senior team in the same season that was scouted and play them in five matches. Upon me, either as part of the starting eleven or coming on as a sub. That'll probably be our scout feature star. Brand exposure. They want us to keep a streak of eighty-five percent attendance in five consecutive ma home matches. We aren't in any uh, continental cups yet. Um, the domestic success. They want us to avoid uh, a finish in the bottom part of the league. And they only also want us to reach the quarter final of the Squ Scottish Cup. And a long term is in within three seasons. They want us to have a, f a high finish. So the first simula the, se the first season is simulated. And then we're playing the second season. So in that the second season of playing. They want us to finish in quite a high position. And then financial, they want us to finish the season with 2.6 unspent allocated funds. And that is both um, the transfer budget and wage budget combined. So now we've got to get our scouts. We don't, well, I'm not selling anyone in the first season. The second season is when I'll spend uh, sell everyone. We've got 2.6. Triple six three eight eight million pounds to spend. I'm just gonna get uh, three one star one star uh, scouts to start off with. We'll upgrade them next season or the season after. Um, but we will. We are gonna get these three scouts. So the first scout is gonna go to Scotland. Second scout is gonna go to England, and third. A uh, scout can go where's Switzerland? I will send him to Switzerland. Why not? Um, Sweden and Croatia will be the next two to be scouted. After that, and then, <clears throat> and then I have to think of uh, three more places to go. So the calendar: the season starts on the fifth. So we'll have the scout report. We will have brung players. To the to the scout squad, the uh, the youth academy even, um, and then we will be simulating the season. I'll check in every month to see if we have players. So what I need to do now is I need to simulate to August first, and I'll see you then. Right, so. Uh, the September scout reports have came back. We're going to look at who is currently 
in um in the squad. Um the ninety four potential goalkeeper has gone up in potential, I think, and is fifty seven rated. Uh Hofstetter is thirty six overall. His potential has gone down to an eighty two maximum. Um Arthur Maier yeah, has gone up in potential again, I think, from seventy one to seventy six now. Which is good. Max Mejeye. Oh, oh, look, we've got two, two different spellings of Mejeye. Um, so our Sky Future Star, 59 overall. I think he's gone up in overall as well. His potential is 81 to 94 now, or it might have always have been. And it looks like I think all of his stats have came back. Oh, apart from penalties, all of his stats are back. He's got 82 long shots. He can't be a centre back. He's got very good shooting for a centre back. He might be more of like a centre mid. Maybe he can play centre mid. I don't know. We'll have to have a look when we do bring him in. Uh, Benjamin Mignene has uh, has gone up in rating to fifty, and then Reese McKinley um, has stayed the same rating and same of the other thing. I can't remember. So uh, Switzerland, Leonardo Montandon. Is close, but not close enough. Jorg Muller, we're bringing in another goalkeeper. Overall of 41, 57, potential of 65, 289. I expect that to drop massively. Hopefully not too much. Now, England, Jamie Evans, not close enough potential. And Harvey Allen, also not close enough in potential. And then Lewis McCall, we're going to reject <coughs> as well. So now the scouts need someone new to go. So we've got, when you go to Sweden, whereabouts is Sweden? Sweden's right here. Sweden for three months. And then we're going to go to Croatia, which is there. And then finally, we're going to have our first scout report in or from Asia. And we're going to have it f coming from here. All of them scouts have now gone out. And how did... I know what you're thinking. How did we do in September? Well, I'm going to tell you. First off, Dundee drew 1-1. Next, we had St. Johnston lost 2-1. Then lost 2-1 against Hibernine. And lost 2-1 again against Hart. So, a good start of the season. But a rough, uh, rough second month. When I'm ninth, we dropped... From 7th, drop 2, 2 positions, and hopefully, well I would say hopefully we can bring that back, but we do have Rangers, which is one of the top Scottish teams I think, or at least I knew they were, were a couple of years ago before they got relegated. So we've got Rangers, uh, Hamilton, and then Partick Thistle in the next month, then we've only got 2 games in November. One against Celtic and one against Dundee. So we are going to simulate to November 1st to get their scout report. And then, and then I'll see you again. Right, so next batch of scout reports. We're first going to check um, the youth squad. Jorg Muller has came in at 53 overall. Potential still 75 to 94. Then we've got the other goalkeeper, um, who is 57 overall, all, no, not also, he's 57 overall, potential of 81 and 94. Then we've got our scout future star, 86 to 94, he's gone up in, no, that's not our scout future star, is it? No, it is. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is our scout future star. Potential's gone up to 86 to 94. Overall is nearly 60. And then Hofstad are still the same. Um, potential 75 max. Um, Arthur Mieye has stayed the same. So has Benjamin Mieye. Um, and then Reese McCauley has gone up in rate. And his potential I think has gone up slightly there. <coughs> but anyway. Monthly scout report. Jong Su Chang. If they don't have a... Like a, a regen face, they're not getting at their club, but he wasn't getting in anyway. Um, Croatia, N Nikola Jovanic, 
is not getting into the club. But Murislav Radic is overall 45 to 59, potential 64 to 86. And then final scout report from Sweden. Eric Eriksson is being rejected. So this month, how did we do? How did we do in October? We lost 3-1 to Rangers, lost 2-1 to Hamilton, but won 2-1 against Partick Thistle. So we had a great end of the month, poor start, and that means we dropped down to 10, so we're slow, most slowly and slowly going, so we're just sliding down the table. Um, we have played every team, and we've played one team twice now. I think, I don't know how many times, I think they played each other three times. I'm not sure. It might only be twice. Either way, we've now got to go into December for a very busy September by the looks of it. And uh, we've got to get our games over and done with there. Okay, so next month of Scout Report. First, we're going to have a look at who we've currently got. Um, I think I'll only look at the people who I've just brought in. So I think that was just Miroslav Radic. Um, we'll also have a look at our centre back, our South Future Star centre back. Um, uh, so another goalkeeper, not too great of an overall, a bit like the Scottish keeper. I can't remember what he's called. Um, Forty-seven overall potential has gone down to sixty to seventy-eight, and then Max Maja, now is sixty overall. He's gone up in overall by one or by a couple by now. His acceleration has gone down. Sprint speed is still the same. Um, stamina has also gone down. So I don't think they were the final stats that were shown. Um, they might still be figuring them out. But still going to be a very good centre back or centre mid. Either way. probably he's, He is starting to look more like a centre back now. Rather than a central midfielder. McKinley was the uh, goalkeeper's name. The other one. And the monthly reports, career first, no and no. <clears throat> Next ones, no from Croatia, no. So we get no one from Croatia. Do we get someone from Sweden? No. We get another keeper, Mats Anderson. Overall of 37 to 53 with a potential of 63 to 87. We'll sign him at the end of the season when I stop bringing players up. I'm only going to be bringing three goalkeepers up because we don't need so many. So we played two games this month. It started with Celtic. We lost against Celtic last time. We lose against them again. 2-0. Dundee, I think it was a game we won or maybe... No, we drew it 1-1. But we win 2-1 this time. So we've got a solid three points, which does actually move up, up to ninth. Celtic and Rangers ballot out four. The first position, um, each team's played 14 games. Each team's won eight, drew four, lost two. They've both got a goals four of 23. The only difference is Celtic has only conceded nine, and Rangers have conceded 11. So the goal difference is 14 to 12, which is how Celtic's on top. <clears throat> but we do, this month, have Aberdeen, Hibernine, uh, St. Johnston, Hamilton, uh, Kilmarnock, and then Ross County. I don't know why I've done that. And then we go into the January transfer window, which um, which we, we won't need. We don't need the, to do anything in the January transfer window. I do need to bring one player up, though, and then play him in five games. Um, I don't know what my centre-backs are at the moment. 65 and 60, so... We'll bring him up later on. We'll bring him up. Um, wait, when when does the season finish? April. There's two games there and three games there. So we might bring him up. We'll bring him up in March, if I remember. Hopefully I will. And then he can get play the last five games of the season. But we are going to have to simulate a January to get scout reports. I'll see you then. Right, so we didn't bring anyone to the club. No, we did. We bring Matt Anderson to the club. Overall, a 50 with potential 67 87. That has changed a bit. There is a player who wants out. Um, 
I'm, I have to look at my keepers because it is McKinley. McKinley wants out of the youth squad, but I don't know if he's going to be one of the three keepers I'll bring up. Because I have Matt Anderson with a potential, a max potential of 87 at the moment. Uh, Radic is potential of 75 at the moment. Uh, yeah, Jorg Kirchler uh, is definitely one I'll bring up by the looks of it. Potential of 86 to 94. Muller looks to be another one that has bring it be that will be brought up 73 87 um and mckinley is he's 75 to 81 he has changed so he is one of the three keepers that look to be coming up 49 rated at the moment but his, his potential band has changed it used to be max potential 75 now it's max potential 81 so i will i will bring him in to see if this person changes um but radich is not gonna get promoted so i will release him now it, it frees up space for any player so it will promote to the senior team don't need to try and give a contract they automatically get one and our center back is still 60 rated his potential has gone down to uh, 92 but it is is still very good to have uh, a 92 potential player um so stats are slowly going down while he's still here. Uh, the offer has been accepted, obviously. Uh, the final scout report from Korea brings us no one because we can't use him. So we don't have a single player from Korea that came through. Croatia, on the other hand, Malenko Petkovic, overall of 40 or 54, potential of 69 to 93. So we're going to sign him. And then he's going to get rejected. And the final scout report is from Sweden. And Sweden brings us no one. I don't know why I'm saying, saying Sweden. I don't usually say that. Say it like that. So now we're going to have to set them out. They're going to have to go on the journeys. Where are they going to go? Well, we're, obviously, every time we've got to go to Nigeria. Um, uh, there, Kenya isn't... No, oops. Kenya isn't in the game, I don't think. Like the country. You can't you can't go to Kenya, so, um, so I, otherwise I would pick Kenya every time because Kenya that's where my dad was born basically. So we are otherwise Kenya OP. You know what I mean. Australia is the other one that we'll go to, and then Switzerland, the Swiss man, Switz. We're gonna go to New Zealand because why not? Um. So now we're going to check. No, we're not. We're going to delete these emails. We're going to check how the month of December went. So we have got six games. Quick math. Nah, that would be three games. Either way, first game we lost 4-0 at Aberdeen. Then we lost 3-2 to Hibernine. Then we drew 0-0 with St. Johnston. Drew 1-1 with Hamilton. Lost 2-1 to Kilmarnock and lost 2-1 to Ross County. So a rough, rough month. And that we're back at 10th. You know what? As, if we, as long as we don't finish bottom, I think we'll be okay. Uh, Rangers have pulled one point ahead of Celtic now. So Rangers could win the league at this point. If the season was to end now, Rangers would win the league. Speaking of Rangers, that is the first team we've got in January. Then Hart, then Celtic, then Partick Thistle, then Ross County. See, I'm learning names now. And then we go on to February's uh, scout report. And then we will bring up our centre-back to play in those five games. So the season is close to being over. I will see you for February scout reports. Right, so February scout reports are here. Um, who did we bring up? Was it just... I think it was just Malenko uh, Petkovic. 45 rated striker. Potential 65 to 85. Obviously that has dipped. That's the only player that came up. And then our centre back. 61 overall. So he's gone up in overall by 1. Potential of 86 to 92. Still, he is, he is he's looking like a banging centre back. He looks very good indeed. So... Scout report, let's start this. New Zealand brings us 
Will Robinson, overall 46 to 62, potential 75 to 94. I'm going to sign him. Next, we have Austria. Australia, not Austria. It brings us absolutely nothing. And then finally, Nigeria. It brings us close to something, but not quite something. You do usually get some good players there from Nigeria. So, anyway, January started with a 2-1 loss to Rangers. Then a 4-0 loss against Hawks. And then a 1-1 draw against Celtic. And then a 1-1 draw against Partick Thistle. And then a 1-1 draw against Ross County. So, we're currently on a 1-1 draw streak, which will end in this Hamilton game in the Cup. Um, and then Kilmarnock. Then Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Then, and then Dundee, that is the current games, and we are currently, oh, you know what, that, that does not help. Scottish Prem, where are we, we're 11th, 7 points clear of Dundee though, but we're 11th. Rangers, 3 points ahead of Celtic, so Ra Rangers, might, might, they might win the league. You might actually win the league. Anyway, we're going to go into March, which is where we're going to bring um, the, our Sky Future Star up so you can play it five Scottish League games before everyone else. And then we'll have... And then, and then it'll be, it could be... Well, once we get to March, we have got two months of games left. And then we'll be the next episode. But not now. We've still, we've still. Right. So, the next set of scout um, reports have came back. We did bring up two players last time. One of them was uh, Will Robson, fifty-one overall, potential of seventy-seven to ninety-four. Not the fastest at the moment, but a winger nonetheless. And then another winger in Jordan Moore, forty-eight overall, potential of. 52 to 66, that's gone down massively. I'm going to release him straight away because, you know, um, if they're in if they're in the 70 potential, I can deal with that. But when, when they're not, I can't, I can't deal with that. Um, so we have, he's now 17, Max Meyer. Um, 61 overall, potential of 86 to 92. These are going to be his stats when I bring him up, I believe. So he is going to be a very good card. A lot of 80 rates. Like a lot of 80 stats. 94 sprint speed. I don't know how he still has that. Um, 82 shot power though. That's gone up by one actually. Um, long shots is 82. Uh, how do you have 82 long shots as a left? As a not a left back. As a centre back. I don't know. I didn't bring him up there. There we go. Promote a senior team. We have done. That frees up another space in the youth academy. For some players. Not Marcus Hill though. But for Jamie Rose. Overall of 44 to 62. Potential of 65. 291. The worst potential we've brought up yet. Anyway. Patrick Carter. Overall of 37 to 49. Potential of 69 to 93. We're going to sign him as well. And then Nigeria. Yes. Christopher Okoye. Uh, overall of 45 to 59. Potential of 67 to 89. There we go, we finally got ourselves a Nigerian. Right, so, February, you know, we did draw 1-1. One, one. What a surprise against Hamilton. And then we won 2-0 against Hamilton in the second game. So that broke the 1-1, one, one, you know, like, draw thing. And it was so off to losing to Kilmarnock, 2-0. Then, But we won against Aberdeen, 2-0. And won against Dundee, 2-1. So that was an alright month. And oh, the Scottish Cup again. As you can see, we're in the Scottish Cup again. We have moved up to 10th now. Dundee still rock bottom of the table. Um, you can see we've got St. Johnston in the Cup. And then St. Johnston, St. Johnston in the league. Um, Hibernine and then Hamilton in the league for March. We're going to put... Um, Watch a, uh, Maja in the starting 11 so he can play in all of these the, now last six games. Um, so we're going to do that now. 
Um, where is he? All the way down the bottom, I imagine. Look at that. 50 rated uh, goalkeeper is now. Uh, oh. Bigger Romana. He was at Newcastle at one point. Anyway, so we're going to bring him on for Kipra. And we have a lot of non-faced players. What's our goalkeeper currently? 64 rated. So we're going to go from a 64 rated to, I think, a 60 is our highest rated. Or it might be a 50-something. Either way, we're going to get very low down on the uh, on the thing, the bob. So March. Well, we're going to have the April scout report. And then we're going to have hearts. And then um, we're going to simulate... Well, obviously we're going to simulate, but the Rangers game, and then that's the season over, and the episode, well, near to over, we need to find out if we've got a job still, uh, but I will see you for April Scout Report. Right, so the last Scout Report for the season, we're going to check how everyone's doing, who we brought up, we brought up, brought up three, no, four players, because we brought up Will Robinson as well. So we're going to start off with Jamie Rose, 50 overall, potential 72 and 92. Um, another winger, uh, Patrick Carter, 40 overall, potential of 41 and 91. Not too shabby centre mid. Then we have Christopher Akore, calm, for Nigeria. 49 overall, potential of 67 and 85. He could be a very good calm, actually. And then, finally, Will Robinson, overall of 51, potential 78 to 94. Not as good as our centre back. Yeah, Scout Future Star centre back. But you know, it's fine. The last Scout Report, as I said before, start off with a New Zealand New Zealand goalkeeper who's gonna get rejected. And then Mason King, overall of forty seven to sixty one with a potential of sixty eight to ninety. And he is signed. Um Ben Elliott has been rejected, but Sam Brown what is that position? I don't think that's where a centre back's meant to be placed. But Sam Brown is an overall of thirty nine to fifty five with potential of sixty three to eighty seven. I don't think that's where a goalkeeper's meant to be placed either, so I doubt it's gonna be a goalkeeper. And then Nigeria, we've got two players here. We're gonna start off with Ezekiel Edukunde, overall of thirty four to forty eight with a potential of sixty four to eighty eight. So we have another Nigerian coming up. Eric M Map Oepa is going to get rejected, sadly, though. And then the calendar. So, as you can see, we didn't get through in uh, the game against St. Johnston in the Cup, as we lost 2-1. And then lost 1-0 the game after. And then we drew 2-1 against Hibernine. And finally lost 1 against Hamilton. So, Hamilton will get in their back for the Cup game. So, we have Hart and Rangers. I'm going to simulate them both. Um, in, in like this bit, we finish, uh, well we haven't finished yet, but we're currently 11th, a win against Hearts would put us, uh, oh, and, oh we're also a game behind, so yeah, a win against Hearts would bring us above Hamilton, and then another win might just secure our, no, if we would be on, on 30 then, yeah, it would secure our place in 10th, so we're either going to finish 11th or 10th, so we're going to, well, well, Major hasn't moved. We're going to simulate the game. We're going to auto sim. So they lost against Celtic their last game. And they win against us. So we're still um, a win behind. So we need a win. We need Hamilton to lose against whoever Hamilton are playing. We're playing Rangers. Um, I'm going to motivate the lads. To motivate them. If we win this, we don't finish second bottom. We finish third bottom. Which is which is better than the second bottom, obviously. So Hamilton need to lose. We need to win. We finish above Hamilton. I'm gonna let this game play out. Um, so they have won against Hamilton. The game just gone. Uh, latest scores. We'll see if we can see any Hamilton uh, scores. Nothing happened so far. Dundee's winning against Aberdeen. Aberdeen one nil. Maja gets a yellow card, as long as he's not sent off, it's fine. We're in the second half, Herrera scored for them. Um, but it's 1-1 one, one now, we need another goal, because we need a win. I can't, Hamilton are losing 1-0, but we only draw. So Hamilton lost, as we wanted them to, but we only drew against Rangers. 
So we st we finish at one point um, away from where we wanted to be. So now what I'm going to do before I leave you again, to, so I can just get to the next bit, is we're going to check our targets. So they wanted us to play a scouted player and play them in five matches. Did we not do that? Oh, I didn't read the second one. Grow a youth player by at least five uh, overall points. And as soon as they have grown, play them in five matches. Is either part. So, them two were kind of intertwined. I thought we did that. I'm pretty sure Meja played every like the last six games of the season. Either way, we did the low priority brand exposure. Seven out of five matches with 85% attendance. Like seven matches in a row. Um... So we did get that we got to exactly the quarter final uh, in the Scottish Cup and I don't we finished in the bottom part of the league so we didn't do that and we have also done financial so we've done quite well now um I just me myself and I uh I'm going to simulate at the 25th so we're close at the thing you know at and then we're going to bring players up. No. I'm going to bring players up. I'll bring players up at the 25th. And then I'll see you on the 31st. Where, where we see if we get if we get to keep our job or not. Right. So guys, it looks like I was lied to. And that it wasn't me when we thought it was me. So I am going to have a look. Well, you know, we've got no other scout reports. So I'm going to bring these players up. We're going to start with Mason King. Uh, he is going to come up, so we're going to promote the senior team. Sam Brown, the next player to get from. Oh no, he is 15, and I released him there. Um, Ezekiel Edekunde, 45 overall calm, he's going to be promoted. Jamie Rose, 59 rated left wing, very good. I'm uh, going to promote the senior team. Patrick Carter, 40 overall centre mid, promoting. Uh, Christopher Akoye, so we've got two Nigerian calms. They might have to battle for which one gets the place because I actually I don't think they're the two best midfield the central midfielders we have. But anyway, forty nine overall being promoted. Uh, Will Robinson, fifty one overall, good potential as well. Only fifteen at the moment. Um, Milenko uh, Petkovic is uh, forty five overall. Only f also can't be promoted. Matt Anderson, fifty overall. Good potential. Jorg Muller. Um, I think, was he the really good one? Or was it... Oh, no, it was the other Jorg. Uh, 53 overall. Uh, another good potential. And then we have our banging Jorg uh, Koeschler. Um, it was 57 overall. So it's not as much of a down step as I thought it would be in the goalkeeper position. But it's not It's not as great as it was. With the potential of 87 to 93 Jorg Koeschler has. No, we're not going to bring him up. He's 15... <laughs> Uh, one of the Myla brothers, or maybe both of them aren't being promoted, but one of them definitely isn't, and that's Arva Maya, um, as he is still 15. Good overall, well, no, it's an okay overall. Good potential is what I meant. Um, Lucas Hofstetter, you know what, he's 37 overall. I mean, I don't use training, so is it worth bringing him up? I'm going to keep him in here. Uh, s tell us in the comments if you think it's worth uh, bringing Lucas up. Benjamin Meyer is going to come up, 18 years of age, 55 overall, 78 to 84 potential, promoted the senior side. So this, these are the players that uh, are 15, so can't be brought up yet, apart from Lucas Hofstetter, who's frankly just not very good. So I want to know if you want me to bring him up or not. So these are all the contracts accepted. Um, so, you know, that's why they weren't telling me, like, all the things were done. So it turns out losing 3 1 against Hearts and we drew 1 1 against Rangers. Yeah, yeah, we did. So them two games were actually just the first two games of May and this was March. I, I forgot May was when the season ended, so it was actually my own fault. But then these three games weren't there before, so that, that confuses us a little bit. Either way, um,. The other three games against Hibernine, Ross County and Dundee ended in a start with a 1-0 loss, then a 3-1 loss, and then a 2-0 loss. 
So where does that put us in the table now? It puts us fifth. We've climbed the table. No, we haven't. Ah, oh, right. So there's like a second stage bottom group. Right. So we're actually still second bottom. And then the f that's the first stage. And then we go into the second stage, which I guess is to find out who gets the um, like the best six teams got it to try and get. Oh, didn't mean to do that. To try and get um, what you call it, the European and Champions League spots, and then you have us bottom table to see who is the best out of the bottom. So we could we could still we're only two points behind. We could still come above Hamilton. Uh, still come above Hamilton. Um, we have got oh, we have got two games against St Johnston and then Hamilton. So that last game is going to be a decider. We're going to simulate these games too. So we are going to watch them and then I'm going to simulate to the next month. I, I didn't realise that's how it worked in the, in the Scottish League, but it does. That's how it works. So St Johnston. We are going to watch this one, but we are hopefully going to get. Uh, do we have. Hamilton scores. There is no Hamilton score there that I can see. We did draw on one though. Who scored our goal? Malt did. No. Yeah, Malt did. I don't know who Malt is, but he scored our goal. And oh, hello. M Malt's out for two months as well. You know that that is fantastic. Um, Hamilton lost. So there's a one. Oh, they didn't play. But there is a one point difference now. One point in it. And we go play Hamilton. So we have to we have to win. I'm gonna motivate the side. We it's like we need a win, lads. Kitty winks. We need a win. Otherwise, we finish second bottom and we look a bit silly. You know, we finish four well, no, fifth. But we could finish third. You know what I mean? You don't wanna finish fourth when you could have finished third. So we are gonna simulate the game. Maja, he's chilling there with his number four shirt. And the game has kicked off. So, nothing's happened 20 minutes into the game. Like, literally nothing. Not even a... Oh, there we go. Bingham put Hamilton 1-0 up. And it looks like they're going to, you know, beat we here with 1-0. With you know, hopefully we could score two. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we're not going to score two. No, Hamilton's going to score another. Oh, we score at the end. It's 2-1. Tana, you know, he saves it not being a clean sheet. But we do finish uh, fourth. No, we don't. We finish fifth. Hamilton finished fourth. Major did go up one, though. Now we're going to check um, the board expectations. So we did do. We did finally do that one, the sign-up player and player in five games. Um, but we didn't do the second one. I think he only only went up by one. Um, I think uh, we already know we did that one. Um, yeah, we finished fifth, sort of. We did that one, obviously. Um, so I think we've done. I think we've done most of them. I think we have. Now I'm gonna. <laughs> anyway, now I'm gonna simulate the twenty fifth, and that is when. Um, I'll see you. No, no, it's not. I'll see you on the thirtieth. Uh, yeah. Right. So this is the moment of truth. End of the season. We did complete the major. I think we didn't complete two of them. There was only two we didn't complete. So I'm happy about that. So I imagine we're going to keep a job. Yes, we. Oh, now the season's come to an end. Motherwell board has met to review our performance. It was it wasn't what we wanted. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't give you what you wanted, but they are. Uh, um, it was a satisfactory performance, so I am gonna keep the job. So see, uh, the episode two is gonna be the first three games of the season, not the uh, the preseason. I still I'm still not playing the preseason. Um. Um, we did bring Maya up, um, the other, uh, Maya brother, <coughs> um, you know, I'm going to have a simulator while I'm talking, 
and we so we yeah we brung him up so we have another player to put into the squad. Um, I don't know what formation I'm going to use. I'm probably going to use their default one, unless you want me to play with the forty-four. Do leave that down in the comments as well as 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 well as if you want me to uh, keep Hofstetter, um, the thirty-seven overall centre mid. Um, so yes, tell me them two things. Also like this video to know me to let me know you enjoy it. Uh, tell your friends about it. Tell them to subscribe. You know. 50 subscribers um, by the end of the year, and something will happen. It, it might not, but I wouldn't mind 50 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, um, and that's about it, really. Subscribe yourself, you know, if you're one of them friends, or you've just found this channel for somehow, for somehow, that wasn't English. Anyway, hope you did enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, as I've already said, and I'll see you next time. Good. Bye.